Okay, so this is option C, freshwater for IBA geography, and the syllabus point is the importance of strengthening the participation of local communities to improve water management in different economic development contexts, including sustainable water use and efficiency and ensuring access to clean, safe and affordable water. So here's like a small introduction. So we need to kind of think of small scale versus large scale because community um, solutions are usually small scale, like such as introducing tools to manage water or like community rationing and kind of think is one better than the other i think small scale tends to be better because it's more adapted to the local community rather than like imposing like a large project upon some community okay so let's look at case studies first of all we have the ice super project in ladakh india so basically here villages who have inhabited the area have been there for 40 years and they have no other resource for water other than the Indus. So what are the goals of this project? Well, to protect from glacial melt because of climate change, prevent crop failure and food insecurity, protection from climate change. So the processes here are they're building stupas for irrigation. This is an ice stupa here. Um, they've made an environmental mountain school. They've made a gravity method hose technology. And they've also encouraged tree planting. And this is sex successes here are that there's been some conservation of meltwater from glaciers however climate change does continue to disrupt progress to an extent okay now we have the household strategies in california usa so basically diy kits are being given out for rainwater collection to individual homes and the goals of this are to save water from rain baths and showers the processes are rainwater harvesting and gray water collection the successes are economic benefits and that it's green and sustainable. Now we have the Water Wise Woman Project in Jordan. So this is basically the education of women about the functioning of taps and training for plumbing. So the goals are women empowerment to combat groundwater depletion because a lot of refugee camps in Jordan strain the water supply. So the processes here are training courses, women taking courses for household decision making, and the presence of the UNICEF to like basically support this whole project. The successes are that women can fix the taps themselves, and there's also a lot of water conservation techniques being introduced to them. Finally, we have the water zoning project in Burkina Faso. So this is basically the measurement of water levels and limits to how many people use the wells. The goals of this are to combat threats to water scarcity, such as drought. It also creates a multi-use water scheme, so it can be used for household, industry, agriculture, all these different uses and it's being like incorporated in, into one project. So the processes are rationing and restricting water usage and alerting communities of any danger, like if they go over the limit, they will alert them of this. Successes are that it's preventing water waste and it has improved sanitation immensely.